Hello gorgeous people. Welcome back to my home and to my channel. More depth V heard news coming and more pushing back against mainstream media baloney. So, ran the headline, Johnny Depp accidentally admits Amber Heard didn't cause any injury. Baloney. What is happening is that with Judge Oscarotti's unsealing or releasing of documents that were not admitted into evidence during the Fairfax County trial, there has been a flurry of people like me wanting a deep dive into them. Some, like the YouTube lawyers I've mentioned in a previous video, do a great job of understanding what they are reading. Others, not so much. Written by Webdesk, whoever that is, the headline and article in Geo.tv was filled with hyperbole, misrepresentations of what was in the unsealed documents, and woeful ignorance. Let's break it down. The headline, Johnny Depp accidentally. What does accidentally mean? It means something like, oopsie, like he just let it slip. He admits. The word admits implies a confession of some sort, right? So an oopsie moment, he confesses. Okay, like he had not been cautioned, should he have needed such a caution, by his objectively outstanding legal team, not to confess anything in any oopsie moments, on the edge of which he may have been tottering. The headline goes on to propose that Amber Heard, quote, didn't cause any injury. Now, come on, y'all. You watched the trial just like I did. You know that ain't right. I mean, we do not even need to read further to know that this is baloney. Yet we do. We do read on. The trial clearly established that Amber punched him, threw objects at him, beat him, and caused the tip of his finger to be severed when she threw a vodka bottle at him. This is all a matter of record with both, both testimony and photos to back him up. As we read the article, we discover that Amber's fans, and here comes the hyperbole, her fans have uncovered. Uncovered implies detective work. Shocking evidence. Not only is the evidence uncovered, but the evidence is shocking. It, in quotes here, could have won the Aquaman star the defamation case. Um, my guess is that Webdesk is not a lawyer, but whatever. It goes on to report that the finding was obtained by fans across the globe. Again, these fans did not obtain or uncover anything. Judge Penny Azcarati, the presiding Fairfax County judge, unsealed them, put them out into the universe. Let's be clear. A.H.'s fans didn't do squat. <laughs> Webdesk continues, This revelation, the word implies an unveiling of reality of apocalyptic significance, a damning piece of evidence. Without reading further together, you get the drift. Webdesk never digs into the actual claim in the case, which was defamation. Not physical injury, but it does go on to bring up Rule 410 
at which the article abruptly ends. Maybe WebDesk had to get on that piece about Israel-Palestine, which was due in an hour. I'm speculating only. I want to pause before getting into what was actually in the unsealed document to acknowledge that Black Belt Barrister, a barrister in, London, in England and Wales, has done a great job unpacking this article too. So jump on over and see how he handled it. So, what was actually going on here? During discovery, the lawyers submit to the judge what they wanted admitted as evidence, witnesses, photographs, that kind of thing. During the pretrial period, the lawyers may ask the judge to compel evidence. In this case, Johnny's lawyers asked that Amber Heard be compelled to undergo a psychiatric exam. This was because Amber was alleging significant psychological harm as a result of her alleged physical and sexual abuse by Johnny. So they hired Dr. Shannon Curry to conduct her examination. Amber Heard was then allowed to produce her own expert evaluation of herself. Her examination was to be by her chosen um, examiner, Dr. Don Hughes, who was a board-certified forensic psychologist. Then, Amber's lawyers sought to compel an IME, or independent medical examination, of Johnny Depp's psychiatric um, situation. Heard's lawyers proffered the legal argument that to compel such an IME would be based on Virginia's Rule 410. More about Rule 410 to come. The portion of the document you're looking at here, here is from Depp's lawyers. It is opposing the idea of compelling Johnny to have a psychiatric exam. For Rule 410, they said, to be the basis for compelling an exam, it would have to be because Johnny's mental state was in controversy. In controversy here, in its legal sense, does not mean controversial. For example, immigration, abortion, the death penalty are controversial issues in the sphere, sphere of public debate here in the United States. But in a courtroom setting, here, in its legal sense, in controversy does not mean controversial. It means the legal dispute itself. In controversy means why the parties went to court. In her defamation countersuit, Amber claimed she had suffered PTSD as a result of Johnny's alleged violence. That was, in legal terms, in actual controversy. In part, that was her claim against him. That is why she went to court, at least hypothetically. Johnny, however, never put his injuries, physical or otherwise, into actual controversy. He never went to court against Amber over his injuries, although they were well established. There was never any claim on his part that he did not suffer injuries at the hands of Amber Heard. His claim was not abuse. His claim was defamation. Defamation was in controversy in the claim he brought. Not physical injuries, although he did indeed, as was established, suffer physical and emotional injuries. Well, that's it for now, but before uh, you go, I want to ask of you a fine favor, and that is to hit the like button that you see below the video. 
and to subscribe to my channel. Um, I do think this will help uh, boost my ratings in the algorithms or however that works and um, get um, an historian's per perspective on um, matters of public interest right now. Uh, the Depp v. Heard trial and um, the problems with mainstream media and other issues. So please subscribe. Please like it. Take care. Remember that you are magic. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.